It was brutal. It was a brutal attack. She didn't have a chance to do anything with her life. Now to an update in a First Coast News investigation into a murder case dating back to 1985. For 32 years, James Daly has been on Florida's death row for a crime he says he did not commit. The 73 year old Vietnam veteran was granted a delay in his execution when his attorneys presented new evidence back in October. But that delay just expired. On your side, Shelby Danielson has new details tonight as his fate could be decided any day now. James Daly is convicted for the murder of 14 year old Shelly Boggio. However, another man has come forward saying he alone is the killer. The question now, will that man's confession be enough to turn this case around? Nobody forgot. Nobody's going to forget. Andrea Boggio is the cousin of murder victim Shelly Boggio. She made her feelings known to us back in October when Governor DeSantis had just issued a stay in execution for James Daly to allow his newly appointed attorneys more time with the case. It's not fair that this guy keeps getting chances. She believed Daly was guilty then, and she still believes that now, despite new evidence entered into court by Daly's attorneys. According to court records, Daly's attorney visited inmate Jack Piercy at the Sumter Correctional Institution. Piercy was also found guilty of Shelley Boggio's murder, but he was given life in prison instead of death. He has admitted to being the sole killer before. But on December 18th, he voluntarily signed another declaration claiming that he alone killed the young girl and that Daly was not even involved. He elaborates in a statement that says in part, quote, Daly was back at the house when I drove Shelly Boggio to the place where I ultimately killed her. Organizations like the Innocence Project, Floridians for Alternatives to the Death Penalty, and Catholic dioceses across the state have come out in support of Daly. I believe he's innocent based on everything that I've been able to experience and to read. How are we going to be at peace if we have killed an innocent man? Meanwhile, Andrea Boggio says the new developments have only caused her family more pain. She tells us, quote, there is already so much loss. We are absolutely disgusted that this is still going on, and we are just ashamed of the state of Florida. The governor will either assign this case to a clemency board so they can review the 100 pages of new evidence or he will assign a date for Daly's execution. For First Coast News, I'm Shelby Danielson on your side.